my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I want to talk to you about the edges of alphas. Specifically, I want to demonstrate the straight edge technique, since there seems to be some confusion on that. I get comments about it all the time. And I also want to talk about color switching on the edges while following the flat alpha technique. If you have no idea what I am talking about, then I will link the flat alpha technique in the card and in the description. It's a technique with which you make alpha bracelets. I highly recommend it. It results in really beautiful flat alphas. But there also seems to be some confusion about the edges, which I will go into in this video. As always, I'll leave the pattern for this bracelet in the description. But that being said, let's get into it. So right now my leading string is on the right side, meaning I'm going to be going to the left, this row. If I wasn't following the straight edge technique, I would just do backward knots on each of these strings. But since I am, I'm going to start with a forward backward knot on the rightmost base string. So a forward backward knot for the first knot of this row. I assume you already know the basics and you know the basic knots, which is why I'm not demonstrating how to do them. If you don't, I highly recommend you check out my basic knots tutorial, which will also be linked in the description. Now, according to my pattern, this row is just this base string. We're not gonna do any color switches. So the rest of these strings, I'm gonna do backward knots on, excluding the last string. So let's do that first and then talk about the edges once again. All right, so now that we've done all the backward knots that we need for this row, we are once again at the edge. This time we're at the left edge. So this time, following the straight edge technique, we're going to do a backward forward knot for this row. So a backward forward knot on this edge string with the leading string. There we go, we've completed one row with the straight edge technique. The next row is exactly the same, but this time we're going in the opposite direction. So we just did a backward forward knot on this edge string here. We did that for this row, the row that we just completed. We now need to do another one exactly the same backward forward knot on the edge string because we're starting a new row. So essentially you're doing two backward forward knots, one for the previous row that we already did, and then once again you do a backward forward knot. The reason you do it twice is because they're for different rows. The one previously was for the row before that, and this one is for the row after. I think that that's been causing some confusion. People seem to think that you only need to make one. You need to make one per row. Since we did one for the last row, we also need to do another one for this row. So once again, this is the same type of row. We just need to make forward knots now for all of these strings in the middle. And then once we get to the edge, we do a forward backward knot but I'll get to that in just a second. All right, now that we are at the edge string again, this is the right side. So once again, we do a forward backward knot. So there you have it. I just want to highlight on the right side, we do forward backward knots. On the left side, we do backward forward knots. And we do one of those on each row. So for every row, you're gonna do a forward backward knot on the right side. And for every row, you're gonna do a backward forward knot on the left side. All right, so that covers the straight edge technique. Now let's talk about color changes. All right, so here we've got a situation where we've got a color switch at the edge, but we are going from left to right since our leading string is on the left. So in this case, we need to do one pink knot on the first string and then switch colors and do a brown knot on the second string. But since we're going from left to write this is going to be our first and second knots of the row so it would basically be the exact same as you would do in a regular color switch with the flat alpha technique once again if you're not familiar with that technique i have a very detailed tutorial which i'll be linking in the card and in the description but i'll quickly go over it here so for a color switch on the edge when it's the first and second knots of the row you're just going to do a backward forward knot like you would normally do on the edge string and you would then do the color switch like you would normally do. Put the leading string off to the side, grab the new leading string from the back, do half of a forward knot on the base string, pull it up, grab the previous leading string, put it under the new leading string, sort of in the middle of that knot, then grab the new leading string and complete the second half of the knot. So you're threading through the previous leading string through the new leading string. Then take that previous leading string, put it back and behind the bracelet like so and then you would continue making the bracelet. Next, we're gonna look at what you would do if there is a color switch on the edge when it's the last knot. All right, so at this point in the pattern, I don't actually need to change the colors, but I'm gonna demonstrate it anyway. So say I needed to switch from pink to brown here, for example. If I were following the flat alpha technique, I would put the leading string in between the knot, like I just demonstrated. But since we are on the last string of this row, I won't be doing that. I'm simply going to take the leading string, the pink one, and put it behind and under that knot without threading it through. And then I'm going to take the new leading string 
and make the forward backward knot that I need to. So it's not a perfect solution, but it works. You just need to be a little bit careful when starting the next row. If you were to put the leading thread in between the knot, you would have it sticking out off of the side of the knot here, which it isn't, it's behind it now. All right, so there's one more situation for switching colors that I want to discuss with you. All right, so last scenario that I want to discuss. So we're on the row going from right to left. We are at the last base string here, the last knot. The leading string is brown. I make a backward forward knot on the edge string since I'm following the straight edge technique, but I need to start the next row with a pink string. The leading string goes down and behind from the previous row. You might wanna use a ruler to to make sure that that knot is still going horizontally as planned. You grab the new leading string, which is the pink one, and you do a backward forward knot again, since you are following the straight edge technique on the left side. And there you go, you've switched colors and now you are free to continue your row. So I think that pretty much covers it. If I missed a scenario, then definitely leave it in the comments. I'll answer it and pin it to the top. Also, if you're wondering about a scenario that I didn't talk about, definitely check the comments. Maybe I pinned something already. I'm pretty sure I covered all my bases. I hope this cleared some things up for you. And if you need more information on flat alphas, then you should definitely check out the tutorial that I already made. It'll be linked in the description. But all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Before I go, I wanna tell you that I have a second channel in which I post videos about whatever I Want. This week's video was my tips for small YouTubers. I give the advice that I would have loved to hear starting out YouTube and I touch on how YouTube affects your mental health and how to manage it. I also just started a Sims 2 series. So if you're interested in either of those topics or you just want to follow me and hear me talk about whatever I feel like, then you should definitely follow me on my second channel. Before I go, I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. Thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if you all also want to become a patron there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive perks for your donations thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye